Clothes are hung up neatly inside. I guess we talk to you now? So, um... If you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Yes. Okay. Dating start! We are on our date! Never actually done this before. But don't worry! You can't smell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. I'm ready to have a great time. Let's see. Is he Kakashi now? What the shit? Give him the, give him the, like, the, the one eye covered in the raw corner all the way and he's looking in some dirty book. Step one. Press the... Shit, I don't know what that is. Wowie! I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two? Ask the one date. Ahem! Human! I, the Great Papyrus! We'll go on a date with you. Yes. Oh my god, he's kawaii as fuck. He is super kawaii. Oh god. Really? Wowie! I, I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait, wait a second. We're clothing? That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning? Why, yes. <gasps> oh, he just came. No, you planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, your dating power. Yes, please do it. Do it. My face. Yeah. Yeah. Don't think you've bested me yet. I. The Great Papyrus has never been beaten in dating and I never will. It means to keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes and my regular clothes. Just in case someone happens to ask me on a date. Behold! He is a super cool dude. Your secret style is awesome. And see, look at that. It's so easy. He just came again. I got it. That's two in a row. A genius compliment. A genuine compliment. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. My hat? My hat? My hat! Yeah. Well then, you found my secret. Got him! Found my secret. Suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Open it up. <gasps> spaghetti. Of course I know. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh, so wrong. This ain't just play any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken kisk. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human. It's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. I'm gonna eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflectively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. A passionate expression. I must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. And look at that. Oh, oh, oh. The triple tap! <laughs> Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, boy is it hot in here. 
or is is it just me? Uh oh, shoot, human. I, I'm sorry. I I don't like you the way you like me. Karasu, take the S off that. Just bang highlight. Romantically, I mean, I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I'd be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. And look, round three. Five, nine? At this point? I don't know. Yeah, I think you have to have a note. I tried adding it to where it wouldn't have a note, but it, it doesn't seem to work as well. Having a note there hurt, it helps a lot. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No! Wait! That's wrong! I can't feel it anything! Human! I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend. And act like this all never happened. After all, you're very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. Valid. Hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> that was Phoenix Wright as fuck. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. Got him! We got that phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs>